because I'm like, do I have everything ready? What if she doesn't like us? What if she's scared? <sighs> okay, I'm so nervous. This is it. Rover's gonna be a big brother. Okay, Rover's five, so that's like middle-aged in dog years. So he's gonna be a much older brother. Um, kind of like an uncle. Yeah, you're right. I can't believe this is happening. Um, I'm really nervous. So today, in a couple minutes, we are going to pick up our new puppy. Over the past week or so, we kind of toyed around with the idea of getting another dog. We always talked about it, but we were always a little bit worried because Rover's so big and um, if we were to get another dog, it would be a very small dog and we just weren't sure of the dynamic of that. But we were looking at a few litters of puppies over the past couple days and we fell in love with um, with one of them and we're bringing her home today. So we're waiting for the breeder. She's going to meet us soon. And ee, in moments, I'm gonna be holding her in my lap. I'm so excited. I'm gonna be a dog mom. I'm gonna be a dog mom. Uh, we got a little carrying bag for her today. We have a blanket. Yep. Yeah. We have a leash. Hello. And oh my gosh. Ah, hello. Hi, baby. <gasps> Everyone, this is Zola. Hello, Zola. Say hi to YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> This is Zola. She is a eight week old mini Bichon Poodle. She's gonna grow to be about 10 to 12 pounds. So she's a very, very small baby. Look at her. Oh, she's so good. When we first picked her up just now, she was a little bit shaky, but now she's like completely calm. She has not barked whatsoever. She's kind of just like chilling. You're just chilling, aren't you? I'm your mama now. You're gonna have a big brother. He's gonna be a little scary at first, but he's gonna love you too. Oh, she's so good. She's so quiet. She's not like whimpering. She's not, she's just kind of like checking it out. She's looking around. I'm gonna let her chill a little bit and I wanna put her collar on. We got this little collar made for her yesterday. It's engraved with her name and our information on the other end. I really wanna put it on her. I hope this fits, but this is like the smallest that I could find. Put her down a little bit. It's okay, it's okay. I'm gonna let her smell the collar a little bit so she's not alarmed. Do you like pink, Zola? Oh, no, 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 that's not for you to eat. She's already being playful. Okay, all right. Let's put the collar on. Look at her. Let's show everyone your collar, okay? Eee! Can we see the collar? <laughs> there you go, my face is so close, but. Oh my God, look. It looks so good on her. Do you love your collar, Zola? You look so cute. Oh my gosh, she's so good. You're so quiet. You're so good. <laughs> she's so quiet. Hi, Bunny. <laughs> She's already going for my hair. Ow. She's so small. You're so small. Okay, hi. So for some reason, I lost the audio to these next couple of clips. So 
here I am doing a voiceover. Um, so after we brought Zola home, we set her up in our office area and I don't know what happened, but she suddenly became so excited and jumpy and energetic. Uh, she loves socks. So there she is trying to play with my sock. I'm just spending some alone time with her in her new space so she gets a little bit more comfortable with me. I am going to wait a little while before I introduce Rover as well just because he's so large and I don't want to overwhelm her and overstimulate her with all these different people and pets. I actually think it's such a good sign that she's very playful with me and that she's not scared at all so I know she's not anxious or anything like that. And I think it's so cute that she doesn't understand mirrors yet and she's getting so excited about her reflection. She keeps jumping and barking at it. She wants to go through and sometimes she'll go like behind the mirror trying to see if there's anything or anyone back there. It's so cute. And I'm so glad that we did uh, a little bit of shopping before welcoming her so that we're more prepared. Um, I have this Amazon puppy toy set that came with a few plush toys. Here she is playing with a donut one that's like the same size as her face. And it came with a few rope toys as well. The set also came with this adorable cow plushie that she is going to town with. Um, I think her puppy teeth are still developing, so she's not a huge fan of the rope toys yet because I think they're too tough, but she loves, loves, loves all the plushie ones. Then of course we had to bring Zola to meet my mom. Um, before we got her, when I told her that we were getting a new puppy, she was super against it. Like uh, any traditional Asian mom, she was saying how it would be super time consuming and she would end up taking care of it and that, you know, they're really dirty, all the typical mom stuff. But um, of course, the day that we got her, she told me that she actually went out and got a food and water bowl that you see in the back there but she accidentally got a cat version so that's okay we'll still use it and also the green thing that you see back there is a paw washer but clearly I think she got the wrong size because it's the size of Zola's head so I think we'll probably use that for Rover instead And can I just say, I don't want to be a typical like puppy owner or obsessive puppy mom, but this is the first day that I got her, but I can already tell that she's going to be so smart and such great personality because she hasn't barked or yapped at anyone and she's not like scared to meet new people. She's super playful and she has an obsession with feet, um, apparently. So that's another thing, but uh, I love her so much already. And then I thought I would give her a little treat because she was being so good. Um, but even though we picked out some puppy treats, I was so scared that she wouldn't be able to chew it. That because her mouth is so small, um, I had to break it into like two or three little teeny tiny pieces um, to be able to give it to her. So one of the things that I found out through my research is um, you got to start training your puppy right away and here I am teaching her to look at me. I did a ton of research on this and apparently it should be the first thing that you teach your puppy because it teaches them the foundation of, of paying attention to you before they hear your commands. And she is apparently obsessed with iPhone cases.
didn't expect to love her so much after just meeting her for one day but we're absolutely obsessed with her and we can't wait to watch her grow although if she can stay the size for a little bit longer we wouldn't be too mad about it and you best believe I started an Instagram account for her right away. Please follow her on Instagram at Zolapu. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you like to see more Zola content. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!